Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be doing my monthly anti haul per the usual. I'm just going to list you off a good amount of things that I am not planning on buying and why I'm not planning on buying them. As always, before we get into the video, I just have to say a few things. One, this is no hate, no shade to any brands, any creators, any anything. If I don't want to buy their stuff, I just don't want to buy their stuff and I will tell you why. It's never any drama, scandal situation. It's just something I'm not interested in buying. And second, don't forget to enter my giveaway. I will link the video down below in the description for you to go check it out. I posted it last week and it does end on December 10th and I will announce on December 13th. So just make sure enter that giveaway but you do have to be subscribed so before you leave this video do that and we're gonna get right into the anti haul all right so my anti haul and if you are new here hello i'm jamie b i like to go to trend moods page and scroll down and just chat with you guys about the shit that i'm not buying in the beauty community rare beauty is coming out with more blushes i have not bought any of her blushes and i just don't nothing calls me to these blushes i don't know why i honestly i don't know why it just it's not i don't think that they're bad it seems like people genuinely like them i just don't there's nothing that draws me to them if that makes sense so i just don't purchase them and i don't have any plan to purchase them so if you guys think that i should and i'm being crazy let me know. So the next thing, I've said it once, I'll say it a million times, is MAC Cosmetics. I am just no longer here for MAC. I feel like their launches are always like the same and boring and just not for me. And I think that like, you know, MAC, you had your time. It's time to move on now. But it's the MAC and L collab or MAC and Lisa collab. I'm not really certain who Lisa is, if I'm being quite honest with you guys. But I will tell you, this gives me very much the Selena vibes. Is that just me? Like, this looks identical to the Selena packaging. So, I'm just not not here for it. Not interested. Uh, the next thing is Machine Gun Kelly's new nail polish line. It says nail makeup celeb nail slash beauty line. So, I don't know if he'll be coming out with more. But... I'm not interested in his nail polishes. Thank you, no thank you. I feel like everyone is trying to grab at the beauty community. Like, people that you like, what is Machine Gun Kelly doing? Like, I get it, he wears nail polish, but like, stay in your lane. So, the next thing is the Fenty Beauty Liquid Highlighters. It is Liquid Kilowatt Fluid Freestyle Highlighter. I think that they look so pretty. Okay, I even shared it on Instagram because like anyone that loves a liquid highlighter is going to love this. First of all, Fenty has the most amazing formulas in everything that she made, but I am not a liquid highlighter fan, so I'll be skipping those. I literally just like kind of decluttered my highlighters and most of the liquid highlighters went because I just don't grab for them. I don't use them. Um, I had the same one for like, like six years, okay? So it's going to be a no. Uh, so the next thing I have on here is the Artist Couture, um, the Quickie palette. Okay, so hear me out. I'm a big fan of nude essential palettes. So when I say nude essential palettes, what I mean is like a palette that quite literally is this palette. It's just nude. Um, nude colors, very easy, warm tone, cool tone, easy to apply, good for beginners and any stage of makeup. However, I cannot stand, I don't know what it is, I cannot stand the little palettes like if you you have to go to trend mood because i have a photo here for you to see but you'll have to go to trend mood and actually look at it they're just like itty bitty little eyeshadow socket things and i don't like them they just remind me of very kid like makeup and it just makes me assume that the quality of that makeup is not good um the swatches look nice but again swatches are swatches so you know I'm not, you're not selling me on a swatch because I do this for a living so I know that swatches can be deceiving, like we're well aware. It looks nice for someone who wants a nude palette but I can guarantee you this is going to be extremely expensive because of who makes it and they'll probably sell it at Sephora. You can literally go to Ulta or Morphe and they have like that new Jaclyn Exposed palette if you want something new 
and that thing was $18 and I'm pretty certain it's on sale. So the next thing I saw on here and I'm a little, I'm, I'm quite confused. I'm not going to buy it and I'll tell you why, but I'm a little confused as to who makes this brand. So it's called Permission to Dance on Stage BTS Lip Sleeping Mask. And I don't know if it's if Laneige makes this because it doesn't say Laneige it says BTS Amour Pacific but when I tell you it looks exactly like the Laneige sleeping mask it's very strange to me so I'm not gonna buy it uh, not because I don't like it because I love the sleeping mask and y'all know that but I have literally like six or seven of them unopened so I'm good for right now <laughs> but it's just weird to me I was very confused so the next thing I have on here is some new Violet Voss palettes. They looks like they're both warm tone palettes. One is very orange red based, the other is very yellow gold based. I, if I'm being honest, had no idea. I, I probably say this every time I mention them that Violet Voss was still even like making makeup. Uh, sorry. Uh, I just don't, I don't know, I'm not really into their, the last thing I had I think was like the Holy Grail palette and I don't have that anymore. So I'm just not a fan. So I'm going to pass on that one. And then you have the Trend Moon Mystery Box. I got that box one time and it was okay. It wasn't my favorite mystery box for the price I paid for it, but it was okay. And so they kind of show like ahead of time what's in the box. And so I know whether or not to buy it. And this one I'm just not interested in buying. So... ColourPop has their collection vaults or their vault collections for the holiday up. They're just new mini palettes and their new quads. I think that that's a good grab for anyone who is newer to makeup or trying to build a collection because they have like uh, eyeliners, lip liners, like all kinds of stuff just like bundled together for a decent price. But I'm going to pass on them just because I have so much ColourPop. I could start a whole store and I just don't use it enough to quite frankly buy some more right now. So I'm going to skip on those holiday vaults. Uh, the next thing is the Viseart, the Petite Pro Pal Paris Etoile something palette. I don't know. It's a real fancy bougie ass name. So it's a very cool tone palette um, and I don't mind cool tones. I'm glad that they make them because there are people who really love them and cool tone palettes are like a dime a dozen here. You know what I mean? Everyone wants warm tone but just the colors give me I'm just gonna make a gray smoky eye vibe. So I'm just not interested in that palette. And then we have what looks like two new eyeshadow palettes from ColourPop. ColourPop, like swear to God, they need to calm down. They launch new stuff like twice a week. Just stop, who is buying all of this up? Me, but not the point. Anyway, so Ticket to Dreamland and On a Whimsy. I don't know what either of those mean. They're very pastel. They seem like spring palettes, like we're already in spring. And I'm just not interested in them, so I'm not going to buy them. Uh, the next thing is the Too Faced new palette. Again, this is Too Femme eyeshadow palette. It's a very spring-like. What is happening? Are we doing spring makeup already? Like, is that what we're doing? We just got into fall. Calm down. It's, I think it's a pretty palette, if I'm being honest, which is like the best thing I've said about Too Faced makeup launches in a while. But it's still not something that I would buy. The blush that comes with it, I'm a little intrigued. But other than that, the lipsticks look real weird. I don't like the Better Than Sex Mascara anymore. And the palette is just not my jam. Like, it's very pretty. It's just not my jam. Apparently, Hailey Bieber is... And if you are a Hailey fan, please calm down and do not get offended by this. I have nothing against this beautiful creature, this beautiful soul, okay? I just... I'm not interested in celeb makeup at this moment. So she's coming out apparently with a beauty brand called Road and it includes skincare and hear me out. I don't like obviously get your money, do your thing, your celebrity. It's very trendy right now for celebrities to be in makeup and cosmetics and all that. But the problem is most of the time they're products wind up being really janky and just not good. So it's like stop, stay in your lane. Do your modeling, do like clothing, do a clothing line because you're a model, you know? I just, and then like the Machine Gun Kelly nail polish and Ariana Grande makeup. Like I just, that's another one. That is, <laughs> that is another one on my list um, is the Ariana Grande makeup collection. I was going 
to buy it. I was really interested in buying it. And then I started seeing reviews and actually seeing the makeup like in person and not just like edited editorial photos. I'm not really interested in that. Uh, cosmetic line at all. It doesn't look very well and it's like I've watched these bigger youtubers and bigger creators raving about it and then I watch these you know smaller content creators people like me and you who are like yeah this isn't that good and looking at it it's like it doesn't seem pricey but like the little eyeshadow palettes I'm pretty sure are like 24 bucks or something and they're like this big so I just feel like it's a money grab I know that's gonna hurt some people's feelings but I feel like it's a money grab for these celebrities and I'm just not going to feed into it. I'm just not. I'm not saying that there can't be new brands and new companies in our industry, but the problem is a lot of these makeup brands are gonna fall off because it's gonna stop being cool to create makeup and then it's like, what? Like it was just like a money grab, do you know what I mean? So I'm out, I'm out. So the next thing is the ColourPop Rudolph collection. I, oh, I was this close. I was on the website and I almost bought it and I was just like I really just don't need any more color pops like this this is how close that I was so close I was so close okay I was that that close that that's how close I was and I just really made the executive decision that I don't need that palette um there were only three colors as to why I was going to buy it and it is the elf practice Christmassy, Christmassy time and handsome nose like those three colors give me so much joy and so much happiness at this time of the year but I just didn't I didn't need it it was so expensive and I didn't need it so I moved on and I didn't get it okay so the last thing on my current anti haul list is the Morphe and Pony collab I don't know who Pony is so let's start there um I just none of this no, nah, it's so pastel, which is fine, but it's just, I don't know. The lipsticks were a little intriguing or lip balms, but I'm just not, I'm not here for it. I don't need the stickers. I'm going to pass. And the palette just isn't, it's not anything special or new. It looks like they're going to be very light and not very pigmented. And the lip balms are probably all going to come off the same exact color. So I'm just not going to waste my money with that. I'm just not really quite interested in it at all. There is another thing that I did want to say, another beauty line from a celebrity. It's Harry Styles and calm down. I know people love this person. I don't know them like that, but I know that I'm not buying their nail polish. I don't know what's happening, okay? I really just don't know what's happening with the beauty community that is just chuck full of like celebs that are just kind of grabbing and stuff because I really honestly wholeheartedly like I said feel like they're not going to be around very long they're going to grab the money while they can while it's popular to be in the beauty industry and then kind of dip out um people like Rihanna with Fenty like this is a whole ass like journey for her like business situation so when it comes to that I'm just like oh my god I absolutely love it and I wholeheartedly like love investing in Fenty because I feel like her heart is in her brand when I see celebrities just kind of like having shit thrown together and then just put their name on it and it sells because it's them it's just not the same for me so like Fenty is a whole different ball game when it comes to makeup by celebrities but like the Ariana Grande, Harry Styles, Machine Gun Kelly, Hailey Bieber, I think that they're all just money grabs and I'm just not, it's not my jam. And if I'm wrong and you think I'm wrong, that's okay. Let me know down below what you think. What are your, your thoughts on it? But just don't be nasty. Don't be nasty. And I lied. I have one more thing that I absolutely positively will not buy and it is the new Makeup Revolution Holiday Fragrance. They're like $15 for these big perfumes. So basically they're ripping off Kaali, which is Huda Beauty's sister perfume situation. And um, I don't really mind that. Like I feel like there should be dupes for things, but like ripping people's whole ass ideas off are a little bit different. But that's not my problem. My problem is when you get these perfumes that are so inexpensive, 90% of that bottle is alcohol. And it either doesn't smell good when you actually get it, and if it does smell good, it lasts all about five seconds and no longer smells good. So at that point, you could just go get a body spray, which is right around the same price, and it's probably gonna smell better, 
and it's going to be better. Also, 90% of alcohol you're just putting on your skin. It's not really like fragrances or notes and it's just, it takes a lot of money to make a fragrance and I know that people are like, oh my God, perfumes are so expensive, but the, it does take quite a bit of money to make a very good scent or perfume or cologne. So I don't mind spending a little bit more money on that kind of stuff, but I just refuse to buy a $15 rip off of another brand because I know that it's not going to be good. Um, I do like the Kayali perfumes. I have one or two. Uh, I don't like them enough to continue to buy so many, but I'm still not going to buy the $15 90% alcohol ones. I'm just not doing it. So <laughs> that's my opinion though. That is it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed this anti haul as usual. Comment down below. Let me know the things you are buying, the things you aren't buying. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? As always, keep it kind, keep it nice, or you're getting the boot. And make sure you do subscribe before you leave. Give this video a big thumbs up for me, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!